weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. We are still looking at clear to partly cloudy skies this evening. Temperatures still very, very warm. We're looking at readings in the 90s here across the region. You can see there on our sky tracker, we're looking at, again, partly to mostly clear skies. Again, that is brought to you by uh, uh, Centex Roof Systems, our, uh, basically our seamless gutters. And what we are talking about right now are those very, very warm temperatures. 93 degrees. Yeah, that is very warm at this shower. Our humidity at 44%. You can see the wind out of the south and slightly southeast, right around 15 miles per hour. 104, the high temperature today, not a record, just one degree shy of tying the record. We've had 43 degrees so far this day, 43 degrees, 43 days of 100 degrees so far this year. I'll get it right here. Uh, that is basically uh, just uh, well above average. The average is 24, by the way. And take a look at that. We've had 26 days in a row of at least 100 degree heat or hotter in the region. Yeah, I can believe it. It is 93 degrees here in Waco. Like I said, 90 in Temple, 89 in Colleen. Brownwood checks in right at 94 degrees. And temperatures about the same uh, over toward Palestine, right around 90 degrees. A little humidity out there. It jumped it up to 95 in Hearn, 94 in Mahia. And the current heat index over in Lampasas, right at 91 degrees. Here's our satellite and our radar. Quiet conditions, a few high clouds earlier this evening in East Texas, and a few are still drifting through uh, parts of Waco, Temple, and Clint. Nothing major, nothing that will bring us any rainfall. And there's the frontal system to the north. It's just been parked out there. It's been bringing not only uh, some clouds, but a lot of rainfall to parts of Missouri. You've heard about all the flooding going on in St. Louis, there, of course, over toward Illinois and eventually over in Indiana. But we're not talking about any moisture right now in the form of some stronger thunderstorms. We're talking about the Saharan dust. Yes, here it comes again. This is uh, the current picture. We'll put this into motion just to give you an idea that another kind of a thicker batch of some dust heading in our direction. And it does look like by the weekend it will be here. So uh, once again, look at the dust here. This is 9 o'clock in the evening on Saturday. You factor that in there with the, the high pollen count when it comes to the weeds and the mold. They're all in the moderate category. We've got all kinds of problems there with the just breathing normally outside. So if your uh, allergy medicine is not working, well, it's being put to the test right now with all these elements moving through our area. Our future cast will start it off tomorrow morning. Mainly clear skies, temperatures upper 70s as I put this throughout the day. Sunshine, temperatures climbing into the low 100s by late Thursday into Friday, our front to the north of us is stalling out because it's trying to run into this ridge here and it just does not want to budge. And that's what's giving us the hot and dry weather here. As you go throughout the day on Friday, again, temperatures upper 90s to lower 100s. There's the front. There's the sea breeze. We could see a, a stray shower down toward parts of the Brazos Valley there as we hit the weekend. That's because of the sea breeze, but I don't think it's going to make it here uh, into uh, our area. We're talking Waco, Temple, and Colleen. And then as we kick off the weekend, once again, sea breeze well to our southeast. High and dry weather here in our area with that front not budging, staying to the north, and it's just going parallel basically uh, from uh, east to west across the region. And that'll be the story throughout the day on Sunday. Here's the forecast then tonight mostly clear. We dropped to 79 degrees, and then tomorrow mostly sunny. 103 degrees will be the high temperature. The long range 10 day forecast 102 on Friday. 102 on Saturday, 103 on Sunday, and you can kind of see those 100s, 100s continuing all of next week here across the area. Hardly any rainfall uh, in the forecast right now. We are definitely looking at nighttime lows in the upper 70s, and again, that is well above average as well. Down toward Bryan and College Station, there's that 20% chance of maybe a sea breeze. And some moisture otherwise, 100s over the weekend, and that continues next week. Maybe some moisture by the end of the week, but uh, who knows by then, right? With nighttime lows in the mid to upper 70s. So, Adam, there you go. <laughs>